All right, I'd like to call this Willis City Council special meeting order for April 28th via teleconference. And I remind everybody to please mute your line uh, and say you're ready to speak. And so at this point, uh, Kathy, can you lead us in the pledge and then start roll call? Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, States of America. and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under one nation. God, indivisible, under God. with liberty and justice, liberty and justice for all. Okay, well. roll call. Councilmember Connie? Yes. Rodriguez? Present. Strong? Strong? Council Member Strong? Member Strong? I'm sorry, I put my thing on mute. Yes, I'm here. Mayor Gonzalez? Mayor Gonzalez? Yes. Sure. Yes, I'm here. here. Council Member Stransky? Yes. Thank you. This is Jim, I'm here too. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. All right, we take notice due to the provision of the Governor's Executive Order at 25, which suspends certain requirements for the Brown Act and the order of the health officer of the county of Mendocino to shelter in place to minimize the spread of COVID-19. The city council members will be participating by teleconference at a special meeting of April 28, 2020. And well, now we are to item two, discussion and possible action approving plans, specifications for the Willits Airport Runway Rehabilitation Construction Project, authorizing advertisements for bids. The only item on our agenda tonight. So I believe it's Dusty. Yeah, hi. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, good evening, Council Members. Uh, this is Dusty Dooley, your Community Development Director. Uh, I appreciate you all taking time out of your busy schedule to hold this special meeting tonight. And then apologies, we weren't able to get this item on a, on a regular agenda. Uh, can, can you guys hear me okay? Can you okay? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, basically, uh, uh, this is a, 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 a needed project up at our airport. Uh, we need to modify our runway to meet FAA standards. Uh, there's a difference in elevation at the runway thresholds that's too great. Um, the council may recall that we previously um, approved uh, the, the funding that we received to complete the runway rehabilitation design work. Uh, and now we're actually following up with those approved designs and, and getting into the construction phase. Um, basically what's going to happen is you're going to get some restriping, you're going to get um, some improvements to the, to the runway pavement, uh, you're going to get the relocation of the northern taxiway uh, and, and the relocation of some of the electrical equipment. Uh, along with some slight upgrades, so that's like the, the PAPI system and the runway lights, et cetera, and, and hopefully that's, um, um, you have that scope of work in, in your agenda summary there. Um, typically, the project expected to cost around uh, $1 million. Uh, we'll get a better estimate together once we get the, the bids for the construction work uh, back. Typically, the city would be expected to contribute 5.5 to 10 percent of the project so cost. So, if it's a million dollar project, that that could be a hundred thousand dollar bill uh, for the city. Um, there's a unique opportunity uh, to get the project fully funded by the FAA this year only, and that's because the FAA received an influx of funds through through the the CARE Act here related to the the COVID crisis. And so what we're looking for is authorization to put this project out to bid. We would then include the, the bids within our full grant application at the FAA, which is due uh, June 15th. Uh, and then shortly after that, um, we're hoping to find out that we're successful in getting the full funding for the project and then uh, hopefully uh, get construction and get the project completed late summer, early fall of this year. Um, I did, the FAA is aware that the city is being uh, extra careful with uh, any funding we have available and the off chance that they, we weren't able to get full funding, it's understood that we may have to pull out of the project. But everything's pointing towards the FAA funding this entirely. So that's my presentation and I'm, I'm certainly happy to answer any questions the council may have. Ms. Sabrina, I have a question. All right, Sabrina, go ahead. Uh, my question is about uh, 
cash flow? Will we have cash in hand before any money is spent on the project aside from staff time? And then question number two is, I didn't see anything in here. Will there be any upgrades to the fuel pumping station or is that something separate? Uh, to, to starting with the second question, there, uh, we, the, the upgrade of the pump is not an eligible project according to the FAA to make use of their grant funds. Otherwise, we would have liked to have included that in this project. Uh, but unfortunately, we're not allowed to um, use FAA money for that according to the FAA staff. And then um, I, I might not have understood the, the first question there. We, we do plan to... Uh, as, as we're allowed to include funds to pay staff for their time spent on the project through the FAA grant. Um, but but I, I apologize if I didn't understand the question the first time, uh, Council Member Rodriguez. That's okay. Um, I'll give you a follow-up question. I'm wondering how much, how much staff time, Dusty, is it going to take to work on this project in, um, in this calendar year, how much time are, would we be committing? Um, and then also, I'm thinking about cash flow because, you know, we has issues. Yeah, yeah. And I'm wondering, with this grant, are we going to have cash in hand before we spend it? And I'm not referring necessarily to cash in hand and taking your staff time, but any additional costs. Will the funding come in in time to pay for those costs? I just, I don't want to commit to something if we, if it's going to put us in a cash flow crisis. Yeah, um, uh, the, uh, there, there's very, uh, there's a limited amount of, or let's see, there's minimal amount of staff time required to move this project forward at this time. Um, and actually the, the, this bidding process is actually part of the previous design project. And so um, staff and consultant time getting the bid package together and getting the, the grant application together for the construction is actually paid out of the grant that we received for the design phase of the project. And so we're still spending down uh, the previous grant funds to pay the consultant, uh, and we still have a little bit of money left um, to, to recoup for staff time as well. And I'm going to jump in here. This is Stephanie. Um, I think that one of Sabrina's concerns is um, once the contractor, once we bid out the project and the contractor begins the project uh, and starts, uh, and starts um, charging us for, for, like, on say, on a monthly basis for the work done, are we going to have funds to be able to pay that money, or are we going to, you know, how, uh, how quick are they about um, refilling our coffers once we pay out the money? It, it, um, um, th th thank you, thank you, Stephanie, and, and, I, and I do understand the, the concern, and then that's a legitimate one for certain. Um, I would, I would, I would have to talk to the finance director again to get a better understanding of where we are with the budget. Last time I checked, we did have funds available to uh, pay forward um, and, and then with the understanding that we'd be reimbursed soon after. Uh, typically the FAA has been taking anywhere from, um, I don't know if we've been reimbursed as fast as three weeks, but um, I'd say, you know, five weeks to a month and a half to get reimbursement. So if we, if we paid out an invoice, um, we should expect to be reimbursed within say a five to eight week period. Based and on so we have, experience. and I can tell you that we have uh, about approximately $1.4 million in our general fund reserve that we would be fronting the money from. Um, but we need to be guaranteed that this money comes in quickly. Well, and and, and um, more airport enterprise funds as well, correct? And airport, yes. yes. Which I, I think probably is where we would have money to. But we don't it. have. We don't have very much money in, the, in that particular fund we, to, to have a big outlay of cash. Um, this is probably a $1 million project. If it's, you're saying, about a five-month construction period, I think is what you're saying, um, we're going to be probably making monthly payments with the largest payment. But a five-week five five construction schedule. A five-week? Uh, that's a very quick construction schedule. Yeah. So they're probably only going to build, the contractor's probably going to only build us at the end. 
Um, uh, possibly. I mean, all I can say is, um, you know, staff can control, you know, as soon as we pay an invoice, we can upload that to the FAA system for reimbursement, you know. Okay. You know so, it's a basic, basic, so it's basically the money's going to be coming from the general fund reserve and then restilled from the FFA reimbursement, but I need them to guarantee that they are going to actually pay the entire thing. I mean, that's that's... Uh, understood. <laughs> well, this is a big this is a big concern because if we're taking a million dollars, even if it's a six week turnaround from our general fund, we're we're seriously depleting it during a time when we're already in a in a crisis situation. So there there needs to be if we're going to pass this tonight. In my opinion, we have to have some kind of assurance or contingency plan or something put in the motion. It protects that if things are not moving like they're supposed to, that we're going to have to put something on hold. We can't put the whole city at risk. Um, and this is Dusty. Stephanie, and it's true that, that once, it, it, um, assuming the FAA approves our grant request, we'll be back in front of the council again to, to enter into, into that grant agreement. And tonight we're, we're simply just getting permission to put the project out to bid. Is that correct? Right. Right, and the and the bid will have a contingency attached to it, saying that the bid will not go forward if the funding is not received. And once right. they commit to the money, the money the uh, the money is committed. Um, in terms of liquidity, I mean, I'm always concerned about that. Obviously, we've got 1.4 in the general fund. We've got a tiny bit in the sewer, and then we've got 4.1 in the water fund. So, as long as the funds are guaranteed from the FAA, we're fine. Okay, that was that was help. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Greta, do you have any questions? No. All right. Um, does anybody else have any questions? I, I have one question, but Madge, Madge, do you have any questions for Larry? Oh. Okay. Um, um, real quick, uh, Dusty, uh, on that poppy system, that's the uh, uh, I think, uh, approach uh, lighting system. Is it lighting that will also be done, or just is it all striping? And that was the only question I had. Oh, uh, the, the, um, you're referring to the poppy, the precision approach path indicator. And, um, right, that's a, that's a, a light system that, that provides guidance information to pilots as they're as they're landing, um, and that just simply has to be um, relocated in recognition of the relocated thresholds. No. Oh, okay. So basically, we already own that. They're just going to relocate it and make sure it's operational as part of it. Correct. Correct. The only upgrades to the okay. electrical stuff, I think, is we're going to go with some LED lights. Yeah. So save a little bit on the electricity okay. bill, but nothing. No fancy upgrades or. All right, thank you. Um, at this point, if nobody from the council has any questions, I'll open it up to anybody in the public that like gets any questions. Anybody? Okay, I guess I'll bring it back up to us. At this point, I will call for a motion. This is Supreme. I'll make a motion to approve the plans and specifications for the Willis Airport runway rehabilitation construction project. And authorize advertisement for the bid. Do I have a second? I have a second. I'll second it. Just Larry. Larry. All right. I got motion set. Do I have any other discussion? All right. Last call for the public. Anybody from the public like to talk about this? If not, Kathy, call for the vote. Councilmember Connie. Connie. No. Oh. Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Yes. Strong. Strong. Yes. Stransky. Yes. yes. Mayor Gonzalez. Solid. Yes. All right. I think that's the only thing we have going, but I'm going to put it out to see if anybody on the council has anything they, any concerns or anything they want to relate without getting into a discussion. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, getting late for another meeting, so I'd like to, uh, to sign up. Right. Thank you. All right. All right. All right.
and I guess that this plan called for a German thing. Then. Uh, I guess we'll adjourn. Thank you.